All right, folks, here we are again. It's Friday. It's about 11.30 in the morning. I was busy this morning running all around, so I, I uh, am just able to start messing with this. And actually, I got more running around to do, so I don't know how much of this I'll get done and if I'm even going to have a chance to mess with it Saturday or Sunday. You see the underneath side. That's what the hatch is going to look like from the boat. I got it sitting on a bucket on my table. But the inside turned out decent. And uh, now I'm going to sand this outside pretty decent. I got another can of white. I got uh, the pigment for turning it gray. Got some frog tape because I didn't like how that blue tape was doing. And uh, fixing to start sanding. And then we'll start uh, mixing the gel coat, turning it gray and i'm gonna put four coats on this and i'm gonna put the grip stuff in the fourth coat even though the hatch isn't meant to be stood on you know somebody one day is gonna stand on it and they're gonna go shloop <laughs> right over the front so i'm gonna put some grip stuff on it and uh we'll see about mounting it to the boat all right here we go all right y'all i sanded it all blew it off wiped everything down with acetone and that got Mr. Wiggy's attention. He come running from the front yard to see what the good smell was. But uh, anyway, what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to tape off the the white that I did last weekend. I'm fixing to tape that off along this edge and all around it and do the first coat of gray. Or actually, I got to make the gray first. Then I'm going to do the first coat of gray. So, all right, here we go. Alright y'all, here's what we got going on. I got the gallon of white down there. I poured half of it in a bucket, which is 64 ounces. And uh, I got the black pigment here to turn that gray. So, because I, I wanted to keep some white and then turn some gray for doing this lid. So, if you remember, it took 20 milliliters, which is two of these syringes full of this pigment to turn a gallon to the gray color that I like. So being this is half a gallon, it should take um, one of these syringes at 10 milliliters. So, and then after I turn that gray, I'm gonna put a quarter of that bucket in each one of these four empty buckets. And um, it'd be one bucket per coat. And when I get to the final coat, I'm gonna sprinkle the special blend of herbs and spices in it the grippy stuff on the coat while it's wet that's what i'm fixing to do now mix this with one of those syringes turn it gray and get this process started y'all there's the first coat i got the light turned on on the camera the lighting in here is horrible but there's the first coat on it not too bad i guess i'm sure professional boat builders could have built a much better hatch than this but uh for me look pretty good there's coat one, I'm gonna let it kick off and then do two, three, and four. At the very least, I'd like to get it mounted on the boat today with the little stainless steel hinges on the back where I can open and close it so y'all could see that. But I don't know if I'll get to the hinges and the little nitrogen uh, gas strut things that's gonna push it up, open, and all that kind of stuff. I actually got more work to do on that thing, believe it or not. So, uh,. All right, let this thing kick off and I'll get on to two, three, and four. Y'all, I'm trying to get in the house to get a drink. Mr. Wiggy said he won't let me in till I sweep him off. Feel good, Mr. Wiggy? You so spoiled. 
All right, getting ready for coat number two. It's the last of the second coat. Look who kind of joined. <laughs> he smells something, smells good. Getting ready for coat number three. Third coat done. Looking pretty decent. Alright, I'm going to let it kick off while I work on that damn thing a little bit. Alright, getting ready to mix the fourth bucket. Put it on and then uh, shake this uh, non-skid stuff on it while it's still wet. Then I'm going to set it out there. I got the lawnmower out of the way of the dam side by side so i'm going to set the hatch cover on the lawnmower there in the sun let this thing kick off while i do take that driver's side front tire off over there and get mud from out of the bead of the tire then we'll go mount this thing on the houseboat all right here it is fourth coat done got the grip stuff sprinkled all over it and uh got the tape peeled off I kind of like that frog tape. It definitely makes a better line than uh, the blue tape. But look here what I've seen. Look where I come up underneath with the gray roller. I have no idea how I did that, but apparently when I was rolling down this side, the front slope, I somehow come up underneath and hit the inside with the wet roller. So I'm going to have to... Uh, make some white i guess and uh go over that one of these days it ain't gonna happen right now though but uh it's actually too dang heavy and too awkward for me to move out there to the sun right now it's uh i tried uh lifting it up from the underneath side and it's just i gotta get my arms too far under there to get to a balance point and it's wanting to tip towards me and i don't want this you know i don't want to have a have it lean against my shirt or something and have a messed up spot in it so I'm just going to let it kick off right here. So, alrighty. Well, folks, I know you're going to find this very hard to believe. But there's storm clouds rolled up on me. It's sprinkling. Uh, it's, what's it, uh, Friday? It's Friday about 3.30. And uh, it's actually supposed to be raining and storming till this coming Wednesday. We're in for a rainy weekend and a rainy beginning of the week. But check this out. There she blows. That's it just sitting on there. I've not, uh, no hinges, nothing like that. Um, there's the old one. I no longer need that. Tossed it off in the grass. But um, color matches pretty good. And I've not mounted any hinges or anything, but it's going to hinge open like that. Going to have little uh, stainless steel struts that mount right here and come up and hook here. And when you close it, it'll compress the struts. And when I do, when I undo some slide latches right here, the thing's going to, in my mind, it's going to jump open like that. But you see the rain hitting? Uh, this is where I'm going to have to leave off for today. I appreciate y'all uh, watching what little bit I got to do today. And, uh, but hey, it's keeping the boat dry. Got rid of the old one. And this thing will keep her dry. And let me tell you, that damn thing weighs about 40 pounds. <laughs> so, so, I think it'll be there for a good long time. Mr. Wiggy, what we gonna do about this rain? That ain't no fun. What we gonna do? You want to have a beer with daddy? Okay, I'll get you a beer. This is for socks having a hard work week. Here you go, buddy.
Old Socks loves a beer now and then. The vet says it's actually good for his kidney, so don't y'all think I'm mistreating my piggy. But yeah, we're done for today. But, I don't know if you can see it. See the roof hatch over there? We did a good job. Thank y'all for hanging out with me for that. Y'all have a good weekend.